Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be talking about the 2012 Doctor Who Christmas special, The Snowmen. Now this is one of my favourite Doctor Who Christmas episodes. It quickly became that when I realised it was set in 1892. As most of you will know, I love anything Victorian, especially late Victorian, so that to me was very exciting, first of all. And then we have the concept of snow with memory. That I thought I wasn't going to enjoy when I saw the trailer of Fred and I saw these living snowmen, if you guess. I kind of thought... Nah, not really. But when I watched it, I found it really enjoyable and I thought the concept was quite nice. There's a whole, you know, be careful when you talk, you never know who's listening. And then there's the power of the mind of just imagining them melting and, and, and they will go away. And I think that's wonderful. You also may know if you watch my regular Doctor Who videos that I, I like it when Doctor Who has a balance between really creative, inventive, out-of-this-world creatures and then ones that we can relate to. Um, and this kind of deals with them all because... You know, we have the Centauran and the Silurian in this, which I'll talk about my opinions on that in a moment, which are not realistic. And then you have the snowmen, kind of like Weeping Angels, where you can actually encounter that on a daily basis, if you know what I mean. So that I thought was great. As I said, didn't think I was going to enjoy it, but I really did. I didn't think I was going to enjoy the fact that half of it was basically about the companion. When we get a new companion, we obviously kind of have to deal with half of the episodes. Often a couple of the first episodes of their new series is about getting to know the companion and learning their background, not so much about the creatures that the Doctor has to face. So I thought that was a little bit... I enjoyed it more than I thought it was, but I think that's because I absolutely adore Clara. And again, when I talk about the characters in this, I'll do that in a moment. did think the ending was ever so slightly rushed. Um... Not the ending, the actual ending, but the conquering of the creatures, if you like. I thought that was a little bit hasty, but never mind. But yeah, the plot I enjoyed so much more than I thought I was going to. Right, the characters. Clara, Oswald, Oswald. Ah! I love her. I absolutely love her. I hope she stays as Clara and not as, as Oswin. Because Victorian, I love her. I want her wardrobe. Everything she wore, I was like, I need to own that. Absolutely love her. She is, she'll never beat Rose. Nobody will ever beat Rose and nobody will ever beat Donna. But she may just quickly become my third favourite companion after one episode as Clara. Jen Always Coleman is a fantastic actress. As I said in my reveal video, whatever that was, I wasn't that bothered about her being announced as the companion. But I do love her as Clara, so I'm really excited to see what they do there. I was really surprised to see both the Silurian and the Centauran in this. I thought maybe one or the other. The Silurian, I think, is a really fascinating race of creature and not one I would have expected myself to like to be recurring but I actually did thoroughly enjoy their return and I love the Centauran and any time he called him a potato head or a potato or whatever I just cracked up I just thought it was hilarious and that's one of the beautiful things about Doctor Who you can be really emotional and sucked into it and you're still hysterically laughing so that's great didn't didn't like the Doctor in this at all I will say that now I did not like the Doctor in this but I know that a lot of the I guess die hard official Whovians will, well a lot of them have said to me, you know, David Tennant is not how the Doctor is, he's quite the exception, the Doctors, you know, the other 11 have been quite moody, withdrawn in their own little world, whereas David's Doctor was very flamboyant and excited and a little puppy dog, the rest have been kind of a little bit more negative in their approach, and that really came out in, in the Doctor in this episode, and I'm worried that that's the direction the character is going to take now I don't know how 2013 is going to pan out it's Doctor Who year you know it's really exciting and I can't wait but I am worried about that I didn't like the doctor was he was being difficult and I didn't like that but we'll see how it goes but I wasn't really a fan of the doctor in this but Clara made up for that completely this episode is directed by Saul Metstein who also directed A Town Called Mercy and Dinosaurs on a Spaceship both of which I loved and um, from what I can see an episode in the new series as well. Really thoroughly enjoyed this. I think from start to finish it flowed really well. The pace of it I thought was brilliant apart from, as I said, that one little bit at the end. The character is absolutely fantastic, minus the Doctor. Um, but I'll give him the benefit of the doubt since he just lost Rory and Amy. Um, we did get a mention of Pond in this. Of course we did. I wonder how long they're going to stretch that out for. Because after series 3, well actually after well, after series 4, they got rid of Rose pretty quickly and it's almost like they forget that the Doctor is still essentially the same person but when he regenerates, he just forgets about the previous companions almost um, so I have a slight issue with that and I have a growing issue with the Doctor but never mind, hopefully that's just not going to last very long, but please feel free to let me know your thoughts on the snowmen, please feel free to leave comments and things and I'll see you all next time bye